Oh, that's good. Good morning, what is up? Today is Friday and I'm taking you through a day in my life. Let's go. Kira, good morning, everybody. Kira, can I say hi to your sister? Good morning, baby. I just made, or I'm making some breakfast while I'm doing that. Rose is going down for a nap, and I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning up the kitchen because I can't function throughout the day when the house is a mess, and the house is a mess today. Um, we've just been busy this week and things get everywhere. I'm sure that you understand that. So I try to clean up as much as I can while I'm cooking and things like that so I don't have to do just a huge clean at one time. So I'm going to do that, eat some breakfast, and then get to work while Rose is taking her nap. And then when she gets up, well, focus is back on her. So got to get a lot done in the next, hopefully, hour and a half see how long of a nap she takes. So let's see what we can get done. Oh, oh, I'll never get Just a couple of things washed in the kitchen. There's still a lot to clean. Kitchen's pretty bad right now, but anybody, I don't know. I don't know how to say this. So before we had a baby, it was like I worked from home as well and I could just like say, okay, I'm gonna clean now and then I'll start working at 10 o'clock or whatever because it's nine. So I could eat breakfast, finish cleaning, everything would be ready and then I could just work the rest of the day. With her, obviously, when she gets up, that's when I can't really work or clean or do anything. I can do a little bit of cleaning, probably. So it makes it a little bit harder to balance everything and figure out when I'm going to do stuff and how I'm going to fit it all in. And honestly, a lot of stuff does not get done during the day, and that's fine by me, as long as she's happy and healthy and we're having fun and making memories together. So I'm going to eat breakfast, maybe do a little bit more clean up in the kitchen, and then do as much work as I can because that's the one thing I just can't do and don't really want to do when she's awake is be sitting on my computer or my phone trying to get work done. So I try to do as much of that as I can while she's sleeping. So that gives me, you know, like three hours <laughs> throughout the day. Um, and usually I try and wake up early. If I don't go to the gym, I do work and then we usually work late until the evening. So after she goes to bed. So I'm going to eat and get to work. good nap so she slept for about an hour and a half so it was a good nap we slept here on a little lounger while I sat next to her and worked usually we try and go up to her crib but we just chilled on the couch today we'll go up to the crib for our next nap won't we you say get those feet up we gotta get you out of your nightgown Change your diaper, and then it's time to eat, 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 isn't it? Say hello. Whether you like it, like it or not 
cooking lunch I got a little bit more of the kitchen cleaned up so I'm hoping by the time Kyle gets home I can at least have the kitchen clean so that it's just like the living room and picking up stuff after that that we got to do to get ready for the weekend um, and then we did it again on Sunday I like to go into the weekend clean and then go into the week work week clean even though we work all weekend so what's a work week anyways lunch is served um, this is just pulled chicken. We make a big batch of like chicken or pork or beef or something like that in the beginning of the week so we can just heat that up for lunch. So it's just in some sugar-free barbecue sauce and then I just quickly, um, not fried, but just pan cooked up some green beans to go with it. And I am really craving like a sweet, lightweight dessert so we've got some fresh strawberries. So after I eat this, I'm going to some strawberries and Cool Whip just to enjoy a midday snack because it is freaking hot out. That walk was so hot. It's been like 50s here in Kentucky, like 50s, low 60s, and today it's like 87 out of nowhere, so it's hot. All right, I'm gonna go eat this and start to get some work done. Oh, oh, I'll never get tired. <laughs> and she almost rolled over back to Delhi. Turns out he loves Starbucks. Looks like you might roll for this guy too. You're gonna fall, you're awfully wobbly. I'm only gonna stay close. Um, at Starbucks and she almost rolled back to Delhi for it. She's been rolling belly to back, but not quite back to Delhi yet, but it looks like maybe another week and we'll be there. You're doing so good. I do have it on my other camera. My hands are like kind of the main focus because I thought she was going to do it. And I was like, oh shoot, I got to get something um, to film it quick. And I only had my big camera. So and setting it up, not the best setup. But I was going to get on camera if it killed me. And if you did it, and you almost did it. You just need a little bit of mom's help. But anyway, she took a pretty short nap. It took me a long time to get her down. And then I tried to do all my work and clean and stuff like that in between. She didn't sleep for very long, which is odd for her. She's usually a really good sleeper. And so now we're playing and hanging out and practicing things. She's just sitting up now. We did our rolling practice. We'll probably read a book here in a little bit. And then we gotta try some food. 
gonna see if Dad can pick up some sweet potatoes on his way home. We'll have some sweet potatoes for dinner. Does that sound good? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Well, I just banged you against the window. A little bit of time's passed. This guy's home. How's your day? Good, busy. What'd you Got do? to see some cool multi-million dollar farms today. We'll throw up a picture maybe. <laughs> I don't know how to do that in editing. <laughs> um, I don't know where I last left you all. I think Rose and I were having a good time playing and reading a book and then it went downhill after that and she got in a real mad mood and has yet to take her last nap and it's six almost 6.30 at night, so she should have been up from her last night at 5.30. So we're doing good today. Anyways, we are heading out to eat. Enjoy all the dinner time. Hopefully Rose will sleep a little bit through it. She might have a late bedtime tonight. And that's... It's only 6 o'clock, so we should be doing good. I know she hasn't slept, so by the time she oh, takes a nap, yeah. she's not going to be tired for her normal bedtime. I got you. Because she's for sure going to fall asleep. Um, she's already asleep. She's already asleep. <laughs> she didn't even make it to the main road yet. Gosh, she's fighting it so hard today. Um, I've got some more client work to do during dinner, which kind of stinks, but I gotta get it done. A couple things. Just a couple things. That's today. Are we gonna do work when we get home today? Uh, yeah, because I don't really want to do any tomorrow. Um, also, I got a picture of me for our Instagram with this Fleming, but this is my own. Let me tell you. This is Kyle. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. It was CJ from Grant Cardone's office. I got this ad on Instagram to sign up for Grant Cardone's like program that is, they're offering it for free. Oh boy, now he's calling me back. Hey CJ, how's it going? Good. Well, no, 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 that's not it. Um, I'll sign up for some kind of free, I think. Okay, so the story was, got an ad for Grant Cardone's free whatever. So got a PDF. I thought it was like a course. It was like a, it was a PDF explaining some sales strategies. So signed up for that free thing and it's like to teach you how to always get the sale and never hear no. And they teach you strategies and literally right when he submitted it, somebody called him and they keep calling him. Yeah, well somebody emailed and now... She Finally, called you she, right away, too. She called, yeah. No, she emailed to set up a call. Oh, to set up a call. Yeah, that's what it was. Um, and then CJ calls me at 621 on a Friday night. Grant, you're working your people too hard. Good Lord. Let them have a weekend. And they didn't overcome any of my objections. I objected, Grant. What the heck? He did not get the sale. If he had talked to me, he probably would have. If he had have. talked to Cam, he probably would have. <laughs> oh, but that's funny. Somebody with 10 years of sales experience... Hmm. That didn't want to buy any of the stuff. Do we call everybody who answered our ads? No, but should we probably we? should. <laughs> oh, so we learned something, so maybe it was worth it. Yeah. Hot dang, we learned something. There's like an accent Thanks. up there or something. Thanks, CJ. I think CJ just sent me a text message, too. <sighs> Alright, on that note, we're going to go to dinner. I'm going to finish up work at dinner. Then we're going to finish up work after we put Rose to bed and call tonight. And we'll catch you guys next time. See ya.